What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout for Mods for the PS4. Today we're going to be taking a look at two mods. The first mod is called Oatmeal and it's by Shanik the Oatmeal. And all you have to do to find it is go over to a cooking station, go down to the soup section and you'll be able to find them right there. So the carrot oatmeal requires one carrot, one purified water and two razor grain to make. Uh, there is the mute fruit one, the regular oatmeal, there is the sugar bomb one which I have already made and the tar berry one right there and oh, there's Tato as well. Um, but the sugar bomb one seems to be the best because it gives you the most out of the uh, so the stats so each flavor offers a different buff to various special stats and I do believe that the uh, the sugar bomb one is the best and the description of the sugar bomb one says combine the power of sugar bombs and oatmeal into the ultimate superfood so this is also available on Xbox one and PC and on there it actually has an oatmeal texture whereas on the ps4 it uses the uh, the soup texture because obviously that would be custom assets and you know playstation unfortunately is not allowed to have that so there you go this is what it looks like and uh yeah that is pretty much it for the oatmeal mod i wanted to show it off because it is one of the most random and goofiest mods i've ever seen just because of the fact that like it's just so random just oatmeal in the game i don't know i just thought it was pretty funny so i wanted to show that off but either way let's take a look at the next mod guys i will see you there all right guys so the next mod is called Egret's Secret and is by Gregory Peckery. It requires all of the DLC. Now to find it all you have to do is come over here on the map to Egret Tours Marina and uh, it'll be over here if you go through and around the back over here to this building there will be the Egret Shop. Now I do not know anything about this DLC other than the fact that there is something behind that door. Usually what I do with mods is I check them out, go through them first and then I show them off afterwards but this one seemed really mysterious and I wanted to experience it together with you guys for the first time so if you guys like stuff like this let me know but either way we're gonna go through this uh for the first time together and uh check it out so let's go inside of here and see what it has to offer it's very mysterious so we'll see what uh what's going on inside of here all right so we're in here now there is a note to dennis uh hey dennis got tired of waiting where the hell you been this man does not know how to spell oh my god uh <laughs> that jamaica express ain't that far away dug all the way got the door to the bathroom open already that old man was right it ain't no bathroom okay so the dude was digging he got down there i'm just gonna go over here real quick let's see what's upstairs um oh oh shit oh <sighs> scared the crap out of me all right so there doesn't seem to be anything too interesting up here hopefully i don't miss anything but let's go down all right we got a cave and it looks like all right we're inside of a show oh invisible wall what uh, no dude no no oh okay all right there was an invisible wall the placement whoa, whoa, whoa. well all right so there that sound freaked me out so it looks like these people were trying to put up a fight against something I don't know very weird a bunch of food cans over here hmm very interesting. Right, let's go downstairs, open up this door, kill these rad roaches. You know what? Actually, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. Oh, this sh Oh, my... Like, all of my weapons shoot explosive rounds. All right, let's use Kellogg's cereal. I renamed the Kellogg's gun that I got off of him to Kellogg's cereal because his name is just... Ah, come on, man. That's a brand of cereal. Let's go down. Security gate. All right, we got an elevator over here. I oh shit! All right, I'm I'm going down. Oh, this is spooky. Oh no, you guys probably can't see, so I'm gonna have to turn on the pit boy light. Security gate. All right, I'll keep the pit boy light on. There's some dead bodies inside. This is very interesting. I do like it. So like underneath this shop, there was this military facility. I guess I don't know what was going on here. And I see through there. There's a dead body inside it. There are dead bodies inside of here. This is... Something bad must have happened inside of here. It's not even like they died out because of starvation or anything, you know, staying down here for 200 plus years if this was, you know, before the war. Something killed these people. We gotta find out what happened. I, I mean, hopefully I'm not missing any notes. Ooh, terminal. All right. Let's see. If there's any information that we can gather. Protectron 8430-A has refused an order. After the incident of 10-19, I am very concerned there may be a virus spreading through the new aggression parameter software. Recommend uninstalling until the exact contributing factors can be determined. Alright. So was it the robot that killed them? Do we have a bunch of robots on display in there? 
Protectrons over here. Can I read anything on the terminals? No. Not gonna lie, with the lights turned off, like, I don't know if you guys could really see anything right now, but if you play this with just the lights off and everything, it looks pretty spooky. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but I'll keep it on again. Ooh. Yeah, these robots definitely were killing all of these people. Look at this. This is messed up. Oh boy, there are Assaultrons behind there. I do not want to be fighting them anytime soon. Facility management. All right, new area. Here we go, boys. We're in sort of like a vault looking area now. Pretty cool. More dead bodies all over the place. Sliding door open the... Oh, I almost walked right into that. Okay. Ooh, a key. Exit key. Alright. I really hope I didn't miss any terminals or anything with information, because I didn't see anything yet. So, um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. I, knowing me, I probably did, though, but either way. Um, exit key. So I got an exit key. Do I have to go back is the question. Alright, looks like we're going to go back. So, oh, exit key. All right, I used the exit key. I guess I was locked in. Oh, no. Oh, legend. Yeah, no, we're going to use, we're, we're bringing out the cap collector. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Um, all of the robots came to life. I can understand why all of the people in here are dead. I'm going to get blown up. Well, if you download this mod, I would definitely recommend coming prepared with a lot of ammo, stim packs, rat away, everything. That was very interesting. I don't know if that's all. I'm going to look around. We got a security gate over here. I don't know if... Oh, okay. So I unlocked the door with the exit key. Hey. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna kill you real quick before you kill me. So... Oh, man. Yeah, I knew that was gonna end bad. What the fuck is that? Oh, God! Whoa! Alright. Where do I go? Looks like I go through here. Commonwealth. Use the exit key. All right. Well, that was Egret's secret. Um, pretty much what I gathered from it was there was an underground military facility that got, uh, you know, some robots in there, had like a virus outbreak, and they pretty much slaughtered everybody inside of there. Pretty cool. I really did enjoy going through there and seeing what it had to offer. It was very interesting. Obviously, this is PS4 mods, so not a whole lot could have been done. Um, it was interesting. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty cool. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you guys did, please leave a like. It would help me out so much. I would really appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter right there. And uh, that is going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.